This is the Poplars, um, and I'm actually stood facing due north, so I'm in the most south uh, west corner of the uh, the property. This is the Poplars for evidence. And what you can see running up the left is the leftmost boundary of the property. Those three trees there that are poplars, they're not actually in the property, they belong to the plant family, which is the farmer next door. So they, they really mark what you can see there, they mark the very farthest edge of the boundary. Just to confirm, there's the road name or the lane, old lane. So now I'm walking out, facing due south, I'm going to turn due west. Again, old lane. Now I'll just loosely pace it out. It's got to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen of my paces that lands me on the first of the pipeline markers. Very clearly, very, very clearly inside the neighbouring field and boundary. Absolutely no doubt about it. And there's the second marker, this white fence, which has the same telephone number as the first marker. And then there is a third marker. And again, on the side is the telephone number. Same telephone number. So this is clearly the spot where the pipeline comes. So I shall be writing about it, but I'm very confused as to why I've received a map that even suggests the pipeline, because this is, I'm now looking due north, which is obviously the track of the pipeline in the field that belongs to Mr. Plant running under the Tickenham Golf Course. Why I've received a map that suggests the pipeline's actually over the other side of that hedge and indeed passing through what would appear on the map to be my driveway is clearly an absolute load of rubbish.